This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. For animal lovers, by animal lovers. This episode we meet Scolopendra, the giant centipede. Oh, have a look at this. This little beastie. This is Scolopendra. He's the giant centipede. Has four families with more than 28 species of these centipede throughout the world. And the largest one is from the Amazon. And he can grow to 12 inches. Whoa, whoa. This guy here reaches about 10 inches. And there is actually fossil evidence of one reaching one meter in length. I wouldn't like to run into one of these guys one meter in length. You can see his little antenna there. He's an arthropod. And arthropods make up about 80% of all living creatures. From crustaceans, arachnids, insects, with over a million species described. Arthropods have an exoskeleton. And what they do is when they grow, these centipedes will actually slough their exoskeleton and then they'll eat it. If you have a look, after when we do a close-up on the sides of him, he's got little holes on the side, each segment of his body. And it's a pore leading to his respiratory system, helps him breathe, they're called spiracles. Now this species here, lays up to 60 eggs. Some centipedes just dig a hole, deposit their eggs in there, then they leave, leave the eggs on their own. Whereas this guy here, she'll lay the eggs and then she'll protect them. And what they do is they clean the eggs, licking them, stopping any fungi growing on the eggs. And sometimes the, the little centipedes will actually stay with the mother, so a little bit of maternal instinct there also. These centipedes are powerful predators, mainly nocturnal, and they'll eat geckos, small rodents, just about anything he can catch and overpower is what he'll eat. He's reaching out a little bit, he can feel a little bit of warm air coming towards him. My breath. Erex, we should let him run up my arm. Ooh, don't try this at home, guys. Centipedes can inflict quite a painful bite and there is actually one recorded death from a centipede. Oh, oh, he's going for me neck. where it gets a little bit tricky. I can't see where he is or where he's going. Ooh, the sensation of all those legs. Don't try this at home, why would you? So the word centipede, centum, 100, ped is foot, Though usually these guys only have around 20 pairs of legs. Have a look at him. It's amazing how, uh, how sensitive those antennae are. He can pick up my warm breath with that. That's what he uses when he's out hunting. Not that bad, are you, beastie? Okay, well what we'll do is we'll pop him on the ground and we'll have a few close-ups and see if we can have a look. You might be able to see, you might be able to catch just a glimpse of those spiracles on the side. Those breathing holes on the side of him.
Thanks for watching. Let's help protect, look after and promote Mother Nature together. You can also join me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and at CoreyWild.com. Don't forget to tune in next week so you can join us on our next adventure and see you next time. Corey Wilde always bringing breathtaking adventure to our screens. Corey Wilde is also one of Australia's ambassadors for environmental protection and sustainability. Corey's complete TV series from Southeast Asia and Australia is now available on a DVD set. Let the adventure begin. My name is Brian Barcheck. I've been working with exotic animals for over 25 years. I'm no zoologist, just a guy with a passion for animals. And that passion often takes me on animal adventures around the world. This is ABTV.